Hey everyone, it's Jem. Today I'm going to be filming my April completed pages video, which is my favourite video of the month. I hope you're all doing really good. I'm doing good. I'm really looking forward to the weekend. I'm really excited because it's the first time we've all been able to colour in Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And it is quickly becoming one of my very favourite books, other than World of Flowers, because I don't think anything can beat that. This is definitely one of my favourite Joanna Basford books. I'd say second. Very, very close second, but World of Flowers has my heart. I've only actually worked out three books this month, but that's because I've been banging pages out of Worlds of Wonder, one after another, and Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn, and Victorian Darlings by Hannah Lynn. What should we start with? Hmm. We'll start with Enchanted Faces. And the page that I've done out of Enchanted Faces is this one. This one didn't take too long at all. I went over the base of her skin with alcohol markers and the background as well, and I just used ABA alcohol markers. I've done the little fish with Prismacolor. I went round her skin with Prismacolor as well and I quite like the tan look that she's got going on. I think I used Nectar for the majority of the shading of her skin. I bought Nectar open stock because for me the 72 set of Prismacolor doesn't really do a very good like bronzy colour. In my opinion anyway they're either too orange or they're too neutral but a Nectar from Prismacolor which I've got here it's got like a pinky undertone to it and it's warm, but it's pink. I can't really describe it, but it is the perfect shade for going around the forehead and the shoulders and doing some sculpting on the face with it. So, yeah, I really, really recommend Nectar if you haven't used it and you're looking for a good skin tone to do a tan skin with. As you know, I'm extra, so I added a few more little fluffy eyebrow hairs. I know you want more. I'll give you something extra when you walk through my door. I done her hair completely in alcohol markers. I went over with a lighter pink base. And then just use the pointed tip in a purple colour to get the effect that I did. I'm not completely happy with how she came out. I think it's quite plain, but there wasn't too much I could do with the picture. And then I went round the bubbles with Posca and pastel coloured Posca. It wouldn't really be a page that I'd typically choose, but I'm going in order out of this book. So I'm just going to do them one by one. And this is what I've done so far. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out. The next one I've got is this one. And I started a base on the skin tone. Alice in Wonderland, I think. And it's no surprise that the book I worked out of most this month was Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And I've done these little ones. I love how she's given us these little tiny images to do. And there's loads more here. I've seen people completely finish this page, but I think it will take way too long. Like These each took me about 15 minutes to do because I'm quite slow at colouring. But yeah, I love them. i just done them with Doe and Inktense. And they're really good if you just want like a quick little colour sesh. You don't want to fully commit to a full page. But I really enjoyed doing these. I think they're really cute. So yeah. This was the first page that I'd done out of this book. And I used Dome and Ink Tents for all the colouring. And I went around the outside with orange, pink and like a carmine colour. With the Mungio Soft Pastels. Just a simple one. Orange, pink and purple. And one of my favourite colour combos. And the next one that I'd done was the Camper Van. I really wanted to do a background. Like I've seen so many people with like really, really creative backgrounds that they've done fences and and a really detailed floor and things like that but i'm just i'm not that creative i'm not good at drawing either but i enjoyed doing this one so i went completely over the camper van with derman ink tents and then i wet the page to activate the color and then i just went in quickly with some albert dura white watercolor pencil to get that lighter color so if you see here i've done the same thing there and on the plant pots with the white albert dura and I did the same with this. And I love how this little thing turned out. A little signpost. Because it looks like uh, there's been chalk that's been rubbed in. I was happy with how that turned out. I went over the grass with some Windsor & Newton watercolour. But yeah, I'm happy with how it came out. I think it's quite cute. The next one that I done was this one. Did the little elephant being carried off by the balloons. I used all Dome and Ink Tents on these balloons and I had so much fun with this. This one was really relaxing because I didn't have to think about it very much. I just chose five colours pretty much at random, which is something that I never do. And I don't think the colours particularly look good together, but I do think that they stand out. So I'm going to take that as a win, I guess. Yeah, so I went over these balloons with Dome and Ink Tents and I didn't use too much white highlight, which was different for me. But I did go in with some red Posca and some yellow Posca for the little dots and the details. So I went over the little elephant with Prismacolor and I'm not sure whether it was French greys I used or warm greys. But yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed doing this one. 
And the next one that I done was the globe. Yeah, I done the globe. And I love doing this one. I've done something similar in uh, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I love the colour palette. As I said, pink, purple and orange. It's a winner winner from me. I love it. It's my favourite colour palette ever. And I've done these grey. I did it all in German ink tents apart from the backgrounds. Both of the backgrounds I use Neo Colour 2s. But I use some white gouache because the Neo Colour white is nice. But it doesn't really go over the black too well. So I just use some white Winter and Newton gouache in antique white i'm pretty sure so yeah everything that i colored i used derwent ink tents i love the leaves i've done these leaves before the gray and black leaves but there's just something about these leaves that i really really love i think they look quite cool so i went over the entire background and with little things like this i get a bit messy so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go over all of it and then fill it in with uh, a bit of white Arteza gel pen. So that's what I've done on all of these and these little flowers. Now I went round the border with some white gel pen too. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Very simple, but very effective, I think. I love this one. And then I've done this one. Now it might look like I had fun on this one, but I didn't, honestly. <laughs> I like how it turned out in the end. But this one took me about two weeks and I don't know why. I literally worked on this every single day, but the most minute amount. Like at some point of every day, I worked on this one. I weren't enjoying it. And I don't know why, because the image is really nice. And I really like how it's turned out, but I don't know. It just took forever for some reason. I'm not sure why. I was just really distracted, I think. But yeah, I went around the border with some black washi tape. And then this design, I went in with Crayola Super Tips. And I actually used um, the Albert Dura White. So I laid down each little section. It's probably why I didn't enjoy it very much because it took that long. But I went over with Crayola Super Tips. And then I quickly kind of blended it out. Because Crayola Super Tips are water-based these pencils work really really well over the Crayola super tips kind of like ink tents and i thought i'm not going in all of this here with ink tents so i tried it out and it worked uh, but i used everything else ink tents other than the grass which i use the windsor and newton cotman watercolor neo color twos for, no cotman yeah the same cotman that i use for the grass but yeah i went over here and each individual one, it just took so long to finish this page. I went over these little flowers with ink tents. And then I went in with fine liners from Statler to go over the uh, black. Because going in with white watercolour pencil washed out the black lines. So I picked a navy colour to go over. I went over the little lamps. I used Owen ink tents for the little pots, for inside, for everything other than the background and the border. I really like how this turned out. I love the colours. But I would be lying if I said I enjoyed doing it because I never. And on to one of my favourite pictures of the month. I did a page from Victorian Darlings. And it was this one. I loved doing this. This took me two evenings to do. I loved every second of it. So I done um, alcohol markers as a base for her skin. And then I went in with Prismacolor. To go around the shading and i've done the same with her little top and pinafore and i used prismacolor in hot pink to shade a little bit and like lilac and lavender for the top i used alcohol markers to color the breads and the cookies and the croissants and everything like that and all the foodie bits and then i went in with prismacolor over the top and i used quite a limited color palette on this but not as limited as i'm used to like i wouldn't really put copper with pink purple and turquoise but i do really like how it's come out like them contrasting colors it's not something i'd usually do i'd usually just go with gray or something but yeah i really enjoyed this and i went over the bakery sign with hold on let me get it with um with a pastel posca and the shade i used was lavender and i love using these for little details they're really pigmented and i prefer them to the white ones so yeah, everything, pretty much everything is an alcohol-based markers, like the breads and the croissant and the muffins. Ah, stop! I could have dropped my croissant! 
cookies, everything was uh, alcohol marker base. And then I went over with some pencil for shading. I've done her eyes with Prismacolor. I absolutely love how she came out. I think she's really cute. I love her little outfit and how her makeup matches. I did add some extra eyelashes to her and made her lips a bit of a different shape. I'm super happy with this one. And that is all for the month of April. I didn't really do as much as what I thought I would. It was just that tent picture, man. That tent picture took so long. But yeah, thank you so much. I hope you've all had a great April and I will see you next month for my May completed pages. And I've got some really cool pages I'm going to start working on for next month. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, give a little like and leave a comment downstairs letting me know what was your favourite picture that you've done this month. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.